Um, so can I read the next question? Please. Okay. My dad works at a small company that manufactures meat thermometers. It's actually a pretty cool product. I've seen it used by Anthony on Queer Eye. Presumably to measure the temperature of an avocado. Yes. <laughs> but my hey, dad... in this season he stepped up the... I'm not going to stand for that. Okay. It's, a new, it's a new Anthony season, season this three. This time he showed how to make the toast that goes with the avocado. But my dad... Hateful. My dad has become borderline obsessed. Two years ago for Christmas Eve, he gave us all keychain size to meet thermometers. <laughs> now when we go out to restaurants, he has a habit of interrogating the wait staff about the kitchen's meat cooking methods even though he always orders salads? How do I make him understand that there are better times to promote his product than when I'm just trying to order chicken piccata? That's from the sins of the father in Salt Lake City. Are you, wait, are you here? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, did you bring us one? One of your cool meat thermometers. I guess my first question is, a keychain meat thermometer for when? Yeah. When does that... Come on. Well, I have a keychain bottle opener, so I can see it having some sort of like outdoor grilling party at, like use, but I don't have to wash my keychain every time I use it. I don't have to wash my bottle opener every time I use it. If you're dunking before your... Before and after. Before and after. If I'm dunking my fucking keys into a piece of raw chicken... <coughs> Hopefully it's not raw. Not raw, though. Certainly not raw. Listen... I've had E. coli more than once. He's had G. coli. I've had, yeah, I've had F. coli. I need, I need me one of these. When, when your dad, I, this is how I assume that the conversation in the restaurant goes like, oh, I just saw you brought a steak out. Oh, yeah, that's our primary. I'm not, I'm just wondering, are you sure it's done? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I think are so. Are you sure? Huh. Well, now that you mention it, no. <laughs> Damn, I was so ready to dunk on your dad, but I really have had E. coli a couple times, and I, I'm thinking about it, and I know that you're not supposed to, like, overgrill, like, a burger, for instance. Um, but I had a, a hammed burger today uh, at our hotel, and I asked for it medium, and I bit into it, and it was the good pink color inside that you want it to be sometimes, but that still had that part of me that's like, I'm not a chef. I don't know how pink is too pink. If I could have had a small apparatus that I just yes. had in my wallet or something. And it's not just for measuring your consumable meats. If you have a friend that's like, <coughs> well, I'm not feeling very good. You can just be like, well, hold on a second. Roll up your sleeve. Jab. <laughs> Would you say... <laughs> 98.6. Looks okay to me. Yeah. And would you say that you're... You're arm, undercooked, though. Yeah. You're raw. <laughs> would you say your arm is similar to a pork loin? <laughs> hey, man. Well done. Well... <laughs> Uncalled for. Here's the thing. I would say, your dad sounds like a closer to me. Yeah. That's how you go from being a small meat thermometer business... Yes. ...to a successful large meat thermometer business. Well, the, the meat thermometers would still be small. Okay. Let's not get yeah. it twisted, because it is keychain size. He could go he could go on Shark Tank, and when he's like doing his pitch, he can be like, I've annoyed over 30 Applebee's. <laughs> yes, I'm the man you've heard about <laughs> from the stories of Applebee's employees. <laughs> Las Cruces Applebee's, I've annoyed him. <laughs> Urbana, Applebee's, both, yes. <laughs> they hate my guts. <laughs> I've been banned from several Applebee's. <laughs>